I hope that everybody is having a good week so far this week and hope that everything is going well today. And with today being Tuesday, I want to look together at Psalm 83. Psalm 83, which is another Psalm of Asaph in his series of Psalms. But I want to look at this together at the things that Asaph expresses here because Asaph was one who trusted in God. And especially as time and time again, there were enemies, there were people, nations, um, uh, the nations outside, and even sometimes people within their own nation that were seeking to do harm to God's people, to Israel. And there were those like David and like Asaph and others who did put their faith and trust in God and would call out to God, pray to God, asking for help, for God to act, for God to stop these enemies and the evil things that were being planned and plotted and the things that were being done. And that's what we see here in Psalm 83 is Asaph starts by saying, Do not keep silent, O God. Do not hold your peace and do not be still, O God. So calling for God to see and to hear and to act, which God does. God does see and hear. God may not always act, though, right when we want him to act and do something. But he does let us call out, as the psalmists often did, to call God to, to act, to move, to use his power and glory, his uh, providence, his um, authority to, to help, to save, to deliver, to stop those who are doing evil. For he says, and really this whole psalm, Asaph talks about the, the evil that is swirling around, the things that are being planned, the things that are going to be done if, if not stopped. And so he says, verse 2, For behold, your enemies, so God's enemies, and God's enemies are our enemies. Our enemies are God's enemies. For behold, your enemies make a tumult, and those who hate you have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against your people and consulted together against your sheltered ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be remembered no more. They were wanting to do evil to God's people, to the nation of God's chosen people, and in doing so, really, to God himself. And so Asaph is calling out, Lord, don't let this be. Don't let this be. Please stop them. Stop them from what they are planning to do, for they have consulted together with one consent. They, they form a confederacy against you, the tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, Moab and the Hagrites, Gibal, Ammon and Amalek, Philistia with the inhabitants of Tyre, Assyria, also has joined with them. They have helped the children of Lot. I mean, the nations all around Israel. There are so many from so many different places for so many different reasons wanting to do harm to God's people, wanting to put down God's people, wanting to get rid of God's people, as was said earlier, to stop them from being a nation. And so Asa says, verse 9, deal with them. Deal with them, Lord. Deal with them as with Midian, as with Sisera, or Sisera as with Jabin at the brook of Kishon, who perished at Endor, who became as refuse on the earth. Make their nobles like Oreb and like Zeb, yes, all their princes like Zeba and Zalmunna, who said, let us take for ourselves the pastures of God for a possession. God, and Asaph knows this, God has dealt with, as he's talked about here, God can and God has dealt with enemies in the past and he's put them down. And so he's saying, deal with them just like you dealt with all of these. Just like you defeated and stopped all of these enemies before. Stop those who are trying to do these things now to us. Oh my God, verse 13, make them like the, whir the whirling dust, like the chaff before the wind. As the fire burns the woods and as the flame sets the mountains on fire, 
So pursue them with your tempest and frighten them with your storm. Fill their faces with shame that they may seek your name, O Lord. Think about that. Fill their faces with shame. Make them like dust. Make them seek your name, O Lord, and come to you. Let them be confounded or ashamed and dismayed forever. Yes, let them be put to shame and perish so that they may know. And here's the deal. So that they may know that you whose name alone is the Lord, Yahweh, Jehovah God, that you are the most high over all the earth. Let them know that you are almighty God. Asaph knew the power of God all that God could do, all that God had done in the past, all that God has promised to do, can do, if he so chooses and wills. And so Asaph in this psalm is calling out to God, Lord, help us. Look at all the evil that is being plotted all around us. Look what they're wanting to do. Look at what they are doing. Please stop them. Please deliver us. Please turn their plans to nothing. Please destroy them if necessary. But in it all, make sure they know that you are God, you are Lord, you are the Most High over all the earth. Make them answer to you. Make them know your name. Make them seek your name. And so Asaph is calling out to the Lord to really frustrate their plans, turn them away from this evil, turn them even to God, to seek God. You know, what I think about in this psalm, and maybe we, what we could learn today in different situations, is whatever is going on, whatever evil is being done, I mean, we look around the world, right? There's plenty of evil being done in the world. Maybe not in our immediate surrounding, but we can look throughout the world. There are a lot of nations and people fighting, a lot of evil things being done. We could pray to God about that, pray this psalm. Pray for God to act and God's will to be done. We deal with things in our own lives and sometimes have issues with people, maybe mistreated by people. Maybe there are people who are wanting to do us harm. Maybe there are people who are uh, speaking ill of us and wanting to do us harm in different ways. We, we've got to, like Asaph, like David, like so many others, put our faith and hope and trust in God. And call on God, knowing that God sees, God hears, God knows, and God can act. And we pray to God, Lord, do not keep silent. Do not hold your peace. Do not be still. Please help me in this. Help whoever it is we're praying for in this. We pray for God because, for God to help and to act because he, he is the most high God over all the earth. He is our creator. God alone has the power to help and to stop and to change and God's will will be done. And in faith and in trust, we leave it in the hands of God. Just as I'm sure Asaph did and David did. They prayed these requests to God. They, they poured their hearts out to God, but then they left it in God's hands for God to choose and do according to his will, his plans, his good pleasure. And we've got to trust God today. And I hope that in reading Psalms like this, it will continue to build our faith in God, our trust in God, whatever we may be dealing with in our life or others we know. And we look around the world again. There are so many things going on in the world. And the best thing we can do, ultimately, is pray to God for God to act, for God's will to be done. And let's continue to put our trust in Him. God bless.